Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. Um, you can see the body in the background. That's the 1963 Corvette split window. In an earlier video, uh, we shared with you that the body was on a dolly. It was outside and we just brought it over from the booth and we're ready to bring it into the shop. So now we have it in the shop. There's a specific way to lift the bodies up without hurting them. So you can see we have some slings in the background there with our overhead hoist, and then we have the chassis. So what I wanted to do, we get lots of people that ask about what does a Corvette frame look like when you lift the body off, or when a frame is restored, what does a Corvette look like before you put the body back on? So I'll just briefly just share with you what it does look like. So we have the car on little portable dollies right now. And uh, so we've got a small block engine. We have an upgraded Trainmac engine. It's, it's upgraded to a five-speed manual. Um, we did not do the assembly work on this frame. Our client did. We've got a client who's very, very handy um, mechanically. So he disassembled the vehicle. It came to us, we uh, lifted the body off of the frame, um, he removed all the components, we sandblasted um, and we uh, coated and painted the frame for him and then he took the frame back home and then did all the rest of the assembly. He did a really, really nice job. So I thought we'd share with you um, what these Corvettes look like. So um, he's got beautiful dual exhaust, uh, it's coming through the factory uh, support pipes, uh, the holes that they have specifically for the exhaust. Um, this was a four-speed car originally and he's upgraded to a Trainmac five-speed which is going to be a, a wonderful, very enjoyable uh, drive line or transmission. You can see the attention to detail. You've got the cast color for the rear diff. You see you've got all new brake lines, brake fittings, new shocks, um, all the brakes have been redone brand new exhaust system. You can see the mufflers uh, are also brand new. Fuel lines, so um, exceptional work. And this uh, really looks nice, the attention to detail. Um, and it's kind of a shame because whenever you go to a car show and you see a 63 split window, you don't really have a chance to see much of the chassis or the frame because they sit so low to the ground, you don't really see a lot of this kind of detail work. But you can see the small block engine, it has the correct Corvette valve covers, the exhaust manifolds, so everything looks period correct as it should. Um, not a lot of frills, um, just the way it should be. You've got your two uh, nice little tubes for your air cleaner. So very authentic looking, um, but great attention to detail. All the hardware, um, you even got all the shim spacers. It'll go later for an alignment. Um, the client put the shims in just the way they were before and then the people when they do the alignment uh, obviously they'll shim it correctly but you can see all new hardware, grade 8 hardware, um, the suspension has all been redone so really really nice job uh, with the drive line. He freshened up the engine so this is going to be quite a nice car and then you'll notice he's got, um, he's got the nice uh, white wall, uh, these are Goodyear tires and uh, the correct size and then he's got the, um, the caps at home for it. So really nice job with the chassis and frame. And then uh, the body we shared with you before, uh, the Riverside Red. And the camera person can probably come a little closer to the, to the body. Um, so in an earlier video, we had it outside. It was an overcast day. And um, so now it um, doesn't really show you much probably because we're under... Uh, some fluorescent lighting and I'm not sure how much you really see of the depth of the paint. Probably hard to believe or me to try to explain it, but this is um, uh, quite a nice color of red. It's a very, very deep looking color. It's a base coat, clear coat finish. You'll notice that the whole car was painted uh, with obviously all the components off. So our headlight doors, the headlight bezels, they were all disassembled and painted separately. You can see we just have the um, the front rad support um, just bolted into place for now. What we'll do is we'll remove that and, and paint it later. There is some repair work we did to the metal. But you can see uh, inside the whole um, engine bay, the back firewall, 
and the inner fenders, that's all the nice factory correct satin black look. We'll do some detail work uh, in the front where there might be a little bit of red overspray, but we can do that quite easily, quite easily when it's on the chassis itself. And then as we come along, um, the lighting isn't very good, so I apologize. So hopefully it shows up quite well. So we've got the straps in, in uh, specific places. Um, so it's going to be structurally, it's going to be quite, uh, quite safe for us. We're using the, the, the main beam underneath the dashboard area as one of the structure points. And then the other two mounting points is the back of the birdcage, almost like a roll bar. Um, so we'll be able to lift it up nice and even. And um, so this paint finish, there's a little bit, just a tiny bit of polishing done when it was in the booth. And then what we'll do after the, uh, the body is set on the frame and we hang the doors and adjust them and the hood and the headlights, um, then we'll do a final wet sand and polish. Uh, so this is a base coat, clear coat finish. Um, the official color, so it's a factory correct color um, and it's called Riverside Red. Um, so it turned out quite nice. So in our next video what we'll do, um, we'll just kind of go around the front here. Um, so in our next video what we'll do is we'll share with you, it's very intense um, moment tomorrow because it's, it's nighttime now. So tomorrow what we're going to do uh, is we have to lift the body off. Um, off of our little dollies that we have here in the, in the shop and then we're going to roll the, the chassis underneath and then we have about six people at different points watching and guiding so it's going to be very very stressful it always is um, setting these fiberglass bodies on but once it's set in place onto the frame uh, with all new uh, mounts body to frame mounts and we'll place the hardware in and get the car lined up We'll shoot another video or share with you another video with this beautiful body on the restored chassis uh, because once you start to see uh, like your black frame and the, and the wheels and the engine bay, it really comes together as, a, as quite a nice car. Very rare, one year only, 1963 Chev Corvette split window. And I'm John from LastChanceOnRestore.com.